Hi, this is Shivara Jaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about jealousy for men, how to get rid of 80% of your unwanted jealousy within 30 days. The topic for this video is how to create emotional safety in your couple. <laughs> you know, this is one of the keys. It's like if you want your girlfriend to engage with you sexually, you know, to be really open and juicy and exciting, you need to create energetic and emotional safety for her. It means that if she feels like you can freak out and you can emotionally aggress her or even get physically threatening with her because you have explosive jealousy outbreaks, wow, okay, you know, the, the sex might be juicy and fiery and, you know, shadowy, but in most situations, if you want to sustain a relationship, I tell you something, you must create emotional safety for her. She must feel safe when she's with you. It means that every time you attack her or you challenge her or you complain to her or you try to control an aspect of her life, you know, restricting her freedom, restricting her space, that's going to create the opposite of safety. It's going to make her feel unsafe. If you have an, uh, a jealousy outbreak, suddenly you go like, you know, everything is fine and then suddenly you go to her, you say, you know what, I'm really pissed right now. Because the other day we went out and, you know, I see you having all this chat with your ex and it fucking freaks me out. I cannot take it. Just stop doing that to me. You know, so this, this emotional outbreak is something that is going to trigger. How do you think she's going to respond? Is she going to be like, oh yeah, sure, cool, I'll stop. No, she's going to contract. She's going to go like, oh, that hurts. That hurts your system. It's a wave of energy that impacts on her field and contracts her. It forces her to retract, to build up resistance and force. And so if you, if you create that response in her, you know, you literally punch her energetically, emotionally. If you take that step multiple times, it becomes energetic or emotional abuse. So energetic or emotional abuse is just a repetition of this pattern over and over again, or the very high impact energetic or emotional attack on somebody. If you take that emotional attack and you make it physical, then it becomes physical abuse. But if you go to a woman and in a situation which is maybe unjustified, right? She just had a chat with a man and there was a little bit of flirty discussion going on. Great, big deal. She's been married with you for like 10 years. And then you're going to attack her over just a chat like that. And you go like, what the fuck was that? What the fuck? Are you fucking serious? You just start, you know, flirting with this guy. I know you want to fuck him. Imagine, you know, imagine the strength and the power of an emotion like that coming into the field. If somebody does like that to you, you know, it might be your boss, your mother, or a friend or somebody, it has an impact. It's fucking threatening. So if you come up with that kind of emotion in her field, she's going, you know, contract. You do that multiple times and your relationship is over, man. It's fucking over. It's finished. She's not going to open to you. The next time you're having sex, she's just allowing it. She's maybe opening up for a while and then shutting down again. And you go like, oh, honey, I don't feel an energetic or emotional connection with you. I would like us to be more connected. I would like us to, to build up trust. You say, well, yeah, <laughs> you have to first stop fucking abusing her, attacking her in any way. And you know, probably maybe 80% of the men who are seeing this video might not engage into extreme jealousy outbreaks like that. But if you are, if you are, if you are one of those guys who, are, who is entering into extreme outbreaks like that, I say, you must stop. You must stop. You must create energetic and emotional safety. When a woman is out in the world, working the whole day, the last thing she needs is to come back in a home where there is energetic and emotional threat. This is peace. Peace out. Peace. You need to create safety and peace. When she comes back home, she must feel safe. This is high priority, okay? If you want to create a relationship with a woman that is going to last sustainable, you need to be able to generate energetic and emotional safety. And if you decide to enter into a more challenging, you know, discussion, sometimes you fight, yes, yeah, sometimes you might fight, uh, then do it in a context or in a timing or in a moment that is, 
you know, bring a little bit more awareness into, into it. But basically, this is, you know, this is a message for right now. It is like create energetic emotional safety for your couple. Otherwise, it's just going to sabotage everything. It's really high priority, and especially if you have children. Especially if you have children. You want the, ch the kids and your wife and your partner to feel, to feel safe. And so do you, right? Okay, I'll see you soon for another tip.